life is like the sun. There's a time it reaches the highest peak and later falls down on me, slowly and relentlessly, and will never go back. All in all, it's going to the target. You are going to the target. The most important decision for you is coming. So what's the point of it? Do you know it? I don't know what's my goal. Maybe you know and you're sure that you want to be a doctor, lawyer, teacher or whoever you want to be in the future. But I really don't know. And that's my problem. I'm not sure. Because it's really hard to choose only one thing you want to do to the rest of your life. If you have a choice, that is more than one or two things. People say that's impossible to have several irons in the fire, but I know it is possible. Or maybe it's only my own conviction. For many years, I had to do it. Until now. Cause now I see, there's no point in doing it anymore. It's too hard. And now I can understand it. So, people who are partly right. I think it's impossible when others say that they're nothing because they can't do anything. As for me, they just don't want it because they work not as hard as they should. Oh, they don't even do anything at all. So it's not that they don't have any skills. They do, but they just don't want to use them. So remember, never let the fear of the action. In my case, it's a little bit complicated because I have two completely Sandra aims and two completely different words. On the one hand, there is a calm Teddy science to go on the right college later and finish it as a new smart person. On the other hand, there is sport, dangerous and dynamic, absolutely different from the normal and traditional activities. Very few people know what acrobatics is. <laughs> That's why I love it, I guess.
So which way should I go? Should I go and do what I'm good at only? Or maybe what I love? Now, it's a really hard time for me to decide because the A-level exams are coming and there is less and less time left. Moreover, I feel that each of the sides are pushing on me more and more but I must be strong and survive it. And at the end of the day, when you're looking at yourself and see a very tired person again, after school, trainings, homework, and finally home, and so on, this is the routine you must get used to and patiently wait for the next new day. Thinking about your life for a moment, imagine how your future life might look like, and go to sleep with those dreams. Till now, every day was the same, but since now, it's time for the new changes waiting for me. This day was off from the training so I could get some rest for me. Sometimes, I really need it. So, start my new morning as a new person, ready to go on.
Some cases have been going well recently, and finally I have some free time after the last competition. I'm so happy. Why? Because the prom is soon, and it will be the first time I can remember when I'll be able to take part in. Whatever. The biggest high school party. Beautiful girls in lovely dresses, smiling and elegantly dressed gentlemen, and all the teaching staff who have spent almost three years with us. A huge ceremony. It's perfect, and now it's finally possible. The lessons in the school pass so long. The next portion of the knowledge has been absorbed to my mind. When it's finished, then I get a weird message from my coach. It tells me to be on a training today because she has some important news for our team. But uh, why today? I had completely different plans for this afternoon. I was certain it, it wasn't training anymore. Finally, the teacher calls me. Giving me the letter, she says that it's my big chance for my future. It is the math contest letter, which only three students from each high school can take part in. She says that it's pretty hard, but she believes I can do it. She commands me to work much harder than before. At the end of the training, the coach tells our team that we have qualified to go on the World Championship in Paris. Gives us the letters and says that the first stage is in the last days of January. I'm so excited. After evening homework, I still can't believe I'm in. Directors of the circus, theaters, and managers of the shows would see you and offer a job in every place all over the world. It seems like talent hunters. And then I saw something really weird. Below in the letter, it's written that the first part is since 22nd to 26th of January. No, not again. The prom is actually in the middle of this part on 24th. I can't believe it happens again. Like a fade. Why? Why it's always that I can't be able on the prom to be on any school celebration do you want? Since I remember, there's still no time, no friends, no meetings, no school trips, there's no life, only trainings all around. So it's high time to cancel my name on the prom's list. Now, if my best friend hates me, I have a thing to do acrobatics again. Even I don't feel like talking when my coach is calling.
The competition time is coming, so our team must be ready. After all, I'm so excited. We passed to the next stage, to the finals. In the school, the teacher gives me the last test results and says she's not proud of me. A few days later, science contest comes. And my chance to go on a college of my dreams is so close. After that, I look up the results of them. Print the list with the names and try to find mine. But there was not. I fall and lost my chance for the future scientific life. What is weird that the finals of the contest is in the same time with my competition. It's sad, but it means that the case is clear. I go for the World Championship. So the story is finally clear. I walk on the airport and fly to Paris. I wonder how my life will go on later. And think. Hello, this is Jessica Stevenson, the curator of the mathematical contest. I want to inform and congratulate you because one of the participants has refused to take part in the competition. Therefore, I'm calling you to tell you that you're in. Your train leaves tomorrow at 9 a.m. Once again, welcome and good luck.